Hey everybody, about a year ago, I did a video called the inline frozen bank shot. Recently, I was asked a question from a viewer, hey, does it work lengthwise on the table? And I, of course, gave him the answer, I have no idea. I've never tried that. So I decided to try it and I learned a few things. And that's what this video is gonna be about today. So let's do this. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel everybody. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. That really helps me out a lot. It tells YouTube that you value what I do. So the inline frozen bank shot, I want to thank James for sending me this question because um, I had no idea. So quickly, we're not going to rehash every single thing I did in that video. Please do watch the video that I had put out a year ago here. I'll throw it up in the corner there it's also the link is going to be in the description all right so what we found out was inline frozen our object ball is frozen and it's on the diamonds we found out an inline meaning that the cue ball is right in line with that ball we hit the cue ball half on the object ball and that with enough pace to compress that rail what would happen is our cue ball would get its butt out of the way and this 10 ball would head over to the side okay we found the same thing worked over here for this ball if it was in line we hit it half hard enough to get our butt out of the way the cue ball and we could take it to there this one right here the center diamond we found we could take it either way but we're not hitting half anymore we're taking half of a half and what's half of a half it's a quarter right so we're hitting a quarter of this 15 ball and we can take it to the side we can also take it to the corner. But how does it work on the long way? Going the long way, does it work? I don't know, I had never tried it. Well, it actually does, but it's kind of different, right? Remember the center diamond we just said we were hitting a quarter? Well, now if we're doing an inline shot on the center ball, we're hitting a half. And we can take it to either pocket by hitting a half. But remember when we hit it half and it's a frozen ball, we have to hit it hard enough that that cue ball gets its butt out of the way and we're compressing that end rail, right? If we don't do that, we're going to end up with a double kiss. We're going to miss our shot and potentially our opponent's going to run our butts out. <laughs> and we don't want that. We want to win the game. So hit it hard enough so that we avoid the double kiss and we can make it. The outside rails now, we are hitting a quarter, except we can only take them to one pocket and it's not the pocket that's on the same side so this eight ball for example it's not going to be taken to that corner we can only take it to there all right and we're hitting it a quarter if we hit half we're not going to make it okay it's not enough but if we hit a quarter the shot is possible remember you got to hit it hard enough to get the eight ball there but um and that works of course for the opposite diamond here so we won't be banking that nine into that one. We would be banking the nine over there, but it works. And I mean, it takes practice. It takes learning the weight and figuring all that part out. But I don't know if you'd want to be doing this shot too often, but if it does come up, at least you have that in your bag. And of course, if there's any variance, if the cue ball's over here, or over there, then you need to work that out in your head. But, I mean, you've got, as I said in the first video, a frame of reference, an inline frame of reference, reference. And from there, you need to change it up a bit if your cue ball is out a bit, but you still want to take on the bank, well, then you kind of have to adjust. And that's just going to take practice, guys. But does it work? Yes, it works, James. And thank you for the question. All right, that's everything. So head back to the table, practice. Uh, again, I hope you don't have to ever take on this shot because remember, this is a long distance and our uh, degree of error has to be very slight here because if we're off by a little bit, we're going to miss the shot. A lot can go wrong with this shot. All right. So in, in between time and in oh, I messed that up in the meantime and in between time, I will catch you on the flip side. 
See you guys.